Well, even Kim Fox acknowledges she believes Jussie Smollett is guilty of faking a hate crime, but the actor will still not admit that. Instead, his lawyer says the Asandairo brothers may have put on white face to attack him. According to the court records, he, Smollett was very clear with the police on the night of the attack that his attackers were white. He said they had masks on and gloves, but he saw their eyes and he saw the skin surrounding their eyes. Was that a false statement? Obviously, you can disguise that. You could put makeup on. It took me all of five minutes to Google. You know, I was looking up the brothers, and one of the first videos sh that showed up actually was one of the brothers in white face doing a Joker monologue with white makeup on. And so it's not, it's not implausible. It's not implausible. Is it implausible? Gloria Schmidt is an attorney who's representing those brothers, and she joins us tonight. Gloria, thanks very much for coming on. So you heard that suggestion that your clients, without the knowledge of Jesse Smollett, attacked him while wearing white face makeup. Did they? <laughs> it's preposterous on top of more ridiculousness uh, for her to come out and say that. You know what? Of course, anything is possible in that in that world, uh, but probable, no. So do, you, do your clients, these brothers, concede that they were part of this hoax? Absolutely, they've, they've cooperated, Tucker, from day one. I mean, they, their main focus was always to not be part of a fraud. And, you know, Tucker, if you look at the, the, the very little media that they've done and the releases that we've made, they've apologized for their role and they feel tremendously regretful for their participation in this. So, so were they employed we're, we're waiting by... waiting on that for... I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, so I just want to understand, were they employed by Smollett? I read that one of them had worked for the show, um, had worked for his show and they had worked for him in, in some capacity. Is that correct? That's correct. Um, remember that there was a friendship. Uh, they had met on set. Uh, they had known each other for, you know, not uh, more than a year. So they they really put their trust in someone who they thought was their friend, someone who had influence, someone who could, you know, make a, a game change for them in their career. So yes, that's that's what this is really about. Uh, and we're seeing that in the news on various different fronts, people putting their trust in the wrong person and the worst of Hollywood. So they follow his lead. They take money from him in order to, to pull off this fake hoax. They get caught. So does Smollett. He blames them for it and lies about it and then beats all the charges. What do they make of that? Here's the thing about the Osundario family, uh, and I'm very proud to be able to say this. They are amazing people. Um, what it, it would have been very easy for them to stay lawyered up, for them to to just say we're not saying anything, we're we're not going to help the public heal, you know, we're 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 just not. They wanted to make sure that they weren't part of that fraud, and so. Their, their value system really came out while they were in custody and they went through a realization process that what Jesse wanted to do was tear people apart more, not bring them together. Uh, and the, one of the first statements we released, actually, we, we said that, that they were not homophobic, they were not racist, and that they were not anti-Trump. So what do they think the motive for this was? There have been a bunch of explanations, but what, why do they think Smollett would did this? You know, I, and I hate to not answer a question on your show, Tucker, but truthfully, the motives and their intentions, their, their feelings, things that go to those things, I think will be better said from them. Uh, and when the time is right, they will come out and say their story. It's just not the right time. Uh, of course, they're welcome here anytime. It goes without saying. Finally, are they, uh, do they face any legal jeopardy at all? Are they done with this process? They're done. Um, there's, there's been a lot of uh, questions about, well, now are they going to get investigated? Are they looking at co-conspiracy charges? You can't be a co-conspirator to something that is not illegal. So, Tucker, for example, if I ask you uh, to you know, go out to the street and <laughs> put a, a, a noose around my neck, which I would never ask you to do that, but if I Thank had, you. that's not illegal. <laughs> right. That's just not illegal. But, but calling the police and saying that somebody did, that is illegal. My right. clients didn't do anything illegal. And they didn't wear white face to beat up their boss without his knowledge. Uh, so thanks for clarifying Absolutely. that.
Gloria Schmidt. <laughs> Thank you for laughing because it's worth laughing at. Good to see you. Thank you, Tucker.